Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns. We're gonna move on to world number two, the beach, and stage two one, poppin' planks. It's also worth noting that the uh, the menu music here gets kind of a little remixed depending on which uh, which world we're in to better suit the environment that's around us. Um, this one's kind of got a more tropical feel to it, of course, seeing as we are on the beach. So um, that's also pretty cool. I do kind of like that. But uh, let's go ahead and take on two one. So this level is, um, I would say, mildly more difficult than World 1, and I guess you could say this world in general is mildly more difficult than World 1. Um, obviously, as we move on, things are going to get a bit more difficult, but it, I don't think it really takes a big step up here yet. So, and this is just kind of still on the lower end of, like, the moderate difficulty, you know? So, alright, let's get going forward. Uh, crabs are pretty much the main enemy of this place. Um, it makes a bunch of sense, if you ask me, but, well, there you go. Uh, first off, we want to get up onto this platform head to the left. The first puzzle piece is up here, so that's pretty good. Uh, this one's only got five again, and this is also a pretty large level, so you might be in here for a little while looking for those. Uh, if you couldn't make the bounce off of that crab, you can pound this thing and go to the left, and that'll also get you up there. So that is good. Let's keep going. Obviously, don't fall on the spikes because they hurt. Uh, the K is up here on this platform. It's easy to get to like that. Um, again, if you can't make the balance, you can jump to it from right there. So, no big deal. You can also ground pound in front of these treasure chests to open them. This one has a life balloon. And you see the whale in the background? That was awesome. Alright, so let's get going. We can pound on this little peg here and a uh, barrel will pop up that will shoot us into the background and into this little sunken ship back there. Perfect shot. It's a good thing it hit, but... Um, and once we get in here, we've got a couple of enemies to defeat. These guys are really no big deal. They're pretty much just regular enemies around here um, after this. So um, what you need to do is jump on them once. They will put their claws up. Then you need to roll into them. You can also ground pound in front of them to flip them over whenever they do that. And uh, just jump on them there. So if you're not comfortable with rolling, you can do that. But uh, there's really no reason to. Alright, so let's head back out and uh, continue on along the path again. As you can see, they're pretty much just normal enemies now, so it's really no big deal. Uh, let's see, what does that do? Oh, it makes a treasure chest appear with a puzzle piece. Awesome. So, yep, there's the third one. I uh, got a heart there. Let's see, we need to hit this one in order to uh, get on top of that platform there. I kind of did it the stylish way, but uh, we can also hit this DK thing here if we want, and that will cause this uh, whale to pop up in the background and shoot out a bunch of bananas for us, which we are going to be collecting here. Um, you don't need to collect all of them, don't worry, there's no, like, real prize for doing so because there's pretty much no way you will. <laughs> as you can see, I mean, they go away way too fast, so, um, don't really even worry about it. Just get as many as you can there. Alright, now we're gonna have to make our way along these, uh, swinging platforms here. And these can be, um, actually a little bit hard to get across. Um, especially with ones like these where they move really quickly. Um, it's very easy to think you're gonna make it, but then, uh, end up just falling in the water and dying. So, uh, that's obviously a bad thing. Need to defeat this guy because these are pretty much like scales. Um, obviously, I'm sure, sure you can figure that out. Um, but what we need to do is sort of get this going up and then jump across and quickly make it over there to get the O. As you can see, I was a little bit slow. So, uh, you just gotta learn to time it out right. And if you wait too long, see, you can't make the jump onto that platform. So, it may take a couple tries, but... There we go. That'll do it. And a heart down there if you need it. I don't. So, we're just gonna continue on. And just keep making your way along the platforms here, making sure not to fall. Once you get here, you can ground pound on this, and uh, these barrels will keep it afloat, and you can just sort of uh, go across at a leisurely pace, so <laughs> that's always good. Of course, if you don't want to wait, you can definitely take a shortcut and do this, because I don't feel like sitting around there forever. Uh, we can open this treasure chest to get another puzzle piece, that's number four, and then uh, right after that, you can see this cannon here in the background, uh, pound in front of it, and it'll fire and uh, cause this thing to open up. Watch out for the crab that comes out of it, though. Uh, just jump over it, and there's a bonus game here. So this one's just like one that we've seen before. Um, you have to fire between, making sure not to hit the barrel in the middle. Again, you can fire back and forth twice once it passes, so um, we're making actually pretty good progress here. Let's see, now we just need to get that last one over there. Nice. Well, that went pretty well. Usually I don't do that good on those, so hey, that's pretty good. And that's also going to mark our fifth puzzle piece, so uh, that's 100% there on that. Um, I think we still got two Kong letters left, if I remember correctly. Yep, there's one right there, so... Uh, we need to make our way along here, of course, watching out for the sharks that jump up from the water. That's pretty self-explanatory, but, well, uh, what else am I here for other than to point out the obvious? 
Alright, and keep going here. I think we got, yeah, these here, um, the spikes will sort of switch positions whenever the uh, wave comes across, so just make sure they're down whenever you're going across it. It's really not that hard. And now we have some more swinging platforms, and these are going to get a little more tricky to go across, of course, since we're near the end of the level. So we just need to keep on going here, not too much to really say while this is going on. Oh man, the camera zooms out so far, it feels like you're falling a long way. This is actually a pretty large area, so... And thankfully that one doesn't move really quick, or I probably wouldn't have made it. Then we have these gold sharks. I don't know what's different about these. They seem about the same, even though that one fit me, but whatever. Uh, the G is here on this platform, so it's pretty easy to get, and that's going to uh, complete our Kong letters, give us 100%, which is good. Um, here, don't really worry about the sharks, just make your way along the platforms and then jump to the exit barrel at the end and uh, you'll be safe. And we've completed 2-1. There's our Kong letters and our puzzle pieces. And the image gallery is updated, let's continue. So yeah, I mean, you can see it is a little bit more tricky than things we've uh, faced so far, but still really not that much of a problem. And uh, next time we're going to move on to 2-2. Two -two. It looks like we're also going to... Uh, unlock the store up there, the shop or whatever, so uh, that is definitely pretty cool. Uh, we got plenty of banana coins. I, I remember I said near the beginning those wouldn't be a problem, and as you can see, 87. I think we have plenty, so. <laughs> Man, I tell you, just sitting here listening to this menu theme in between videos, uh, I gotta say this is probably one of my favorite remixes, so that's pretty neat sounding, but anyway, we're here to take on World 2-2 Sloppy Sands, so let's do it. Now this one, if I remember correctly, has seven puzzle pieces, so uh, they're a little bit easier to find. You can see one of them right to the left, but we've got this uh, wooden plank blocking us that looks like it has a bullseye on it, so what we're going to have to do is uh, pound on this thing <laughs> send that crab flying into the air. Uh, jump up here and grab this DK barrel, then take it back to uh, smash this. Uh, a lot more reminiscent of the original Donkey Kong Country, you know, you always had to smash walls to get into places um, with bonus items, so that's good. And now let's just keep on going. Um, we're going to be introduced to a new type of enemy here. These things that shoot out these little uh, squids. I don't really know what to call them at all, but, well, that's what they are, so that's how I'm going to do it. Um, we can pound this thing here to make a puzzle piece with some other things up here. Um, we can also shoot this to make this fall and kill that thing if you time it right. And you get four banana coins out of it, so that's always good. All right, so uh, in here we have to, we have a little plant here. We can blow on it, and it'll make a puzzle piece appear. Uh, just make sure you're careful about that. I'm getting hit by those a lot for some reason, but that's okay. Okay, so we've got uh, some more squid shots here. Nothing really to uh, worry about down there. Uh, we, there's a chest here that fires. Uh, that's next to a thing that fires those electric squids. You obviously can't kill those, but it has a life balloon in it. So um, if you're feeling adventurous, you can get it. Let's get the recover here. And uh, you can see there's a puzzle piece way up there, but we can't quite get it. So what we have to do is come over here and wait for these to fire, then come back and jump off the top one to get it. <laughs> I always thought that was pretty cool, too. Uh, we can also pound this to make a platform appear there, but make sure you get up there before it fires again, or you'll get hit, of course. And, uh, all right, let's keep on going here. I got another DK rail if you need it. You can kill that shark with it, which is awesome. I get some bananas there. You can see the K is actually up on a little column back there. We're going to get to that in just a minute. So uh, let's keep going. And right here, we can pound on this to make a treasure chest appear, pound on this to make a barrel appear. It's a, it's a barrel inside a chest inside a box. Well, there you go. Uh, once we get here, we can roll into this and make the K drop down to us. So that's good. Pound this to make the barrel appear to take us back. And we're well on our way. Just make sure to uh, pause every now and then to watch out for the sharks. Um, that's the last one there that we saw before, so I guess the statement was kind of late now, but whatever. Uh, you can see there's a puzzle piece underneath there. We're going to have to sort of go around. Um, there's a cannon here. Ah, well, I was going to try to take those out, but um, you can ground pound this to make platforms appear, and you can get the puzzle piece there. We're already up to five. Uh, might as well let these guys kill themselves. There you go. And keep going. Oh, wow, they reappeared. That's weird. Oh, I didn't get a banana coin for that. All right, so there's the O. Uh, just make your way through here. It's really not that hard to get through. Uh, then I think we need to jump off that one to get up there, so that's good. Just keep on moving. Oh, yeah, the end's up there. We need to uh, kind of follow these things here um, and bounce off one of them so we can get enough air to get the end. 
And we can also come back to the left, roll through here, and there's a bonus game. And thankfully, this one is the easy variety with the single bouncy platform, so that's good. Just get everything while we're here. Oh, I'm getting a little over-adventurous. There we go. 20 seconds left. That's plenty of time. <laughs> I don't know, that, that bonus game, that, that's definitely the easiest one, I think. Okay, so uh, we're doing pretty good here. Where are we at, actually? Six of seven, and there's just the G left, so cool. I don't think there's anything in here. Ah, just some bananas. And another checkpoint. I think this is the first level we've come across that's had two checkpoints, but I'm not sure. Um, we can also ground pound on this to make some stuff up here in the background. And uh, yes, there is the exit barrel there, but don't worry, because we still have more stage to go through first, so... Alright, let's see, the, ch the chest here just has some bananas, so no big deal. Uh, keep on going up, and here we're basically just going to be climbing a lot. We've also got some more climbable surfaces, so that's good. Uh, you can see the G there. If you care about not taking a hit, you can time it out, but I don't because there's a heart right here. So, you know, it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, bananas? Oh, banana coin, thanks. I have 96 of them now. You can carry up to 999, so um, I would say by the end of this we'll probably get close to that, but I don't know if we'll actually reach it or not. That can just be something we look out for as we continue forward. Now let's keep going up. Uh, of course, the final puzzle piece is in here somewhere. It's a little bit further up, so uh, let's just keep on going now. I also like the music in here. It's pretty peaceful, so I might uh, chill out for a little bit and uh, let you listen to it for a second. But... Or maybe not, because once we get here, there's a chest with a heart, and these barrels will cut away to reveal the final puzzle piece, so we got 100%. Cool. Then once we get up here, just time your shot to get through. Really not that difficult. And then there's the exit barrel. Awesome. So let's see, what do we want? Oh, well, I missed it. But <laughs> I was trying for the DK thing. Oh, well, who cares? It really doesn't matter what we get at this point. All right, so that's 2-2. Two, two. All Kong letters, all seven puzzle pieces. Neat. Okay, so let's head back to the beach, and we should unlock the shop this time. Uh, yep, there it is up there. So let's go on up and uh, go ahead and buy that map key. It still has all the same stuff as it did before. Uh, you've amazed your old grandpa by getting this far. By World 2, really? Thanks for the uh, high expectations there, buddy. So, yeah, you can buy more balloons if you want. Uh, I really don't care. I've got 37, so let's just uh, get the map key. And there we are. Find all the Kong letters, something exciting may happen. Yeah, I've already told him about that, old man. Alright, so let's get out of here. That's pretty much all we came here for. Make sure you shut the gate on the way out. I didn't raise you in a barn. <laughs> nice. Did you raise him at all? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, there we go. We unlocked the path, and that'll let us get to all the levels. We've got kind of four in a square there, so that's kind of interesting. But we're going to move on to World 2-3, Peaceful Pier. Now, uh, this one is different from anything we've seen so far. It's going to introduce a, a new mechanic once we get into it a little bit, so that's definitely going to be pretty cool. Um, this is also a pretty short and quick one, so um, this won't last too long, but let's get going. Immediately in front of us, there's this plant that's kind of in the background, but this is actually one that you can blow, and when you do so, a puzzle piece comes out of it, so that one's really tricky, actually. Uh, got a new fire enemy here. I don't think we've seen this guy yet. Basically, blow on him to put him out and then jump on him. Obviously, if you try to touch him while he's on fire, you'll get hit, so, you know, it's just pretty self-explanatory. Then once we get here, we're going to fire off into this little barrel right here. If we tap A repeatedly, we're going to take off, and this is that new mechanic I was talking about. Right off the bat, um, we want to try to figure out how to control this really quickly, because you need to get all these bananas to make that puzzle piece appear, then the K is right after it. Um, basically, in order to keep sort of a straight line, you just need to tap the A button intermittent intermittently and uh, just sort of figure out the timing for it. If you hold it down too long, then you'll pretty much just sail straight up and lose almost all control. Um, this one's pretty easy, but these levels later on get um, a lot more annoying. Um, it's also one hit and you die, so uh, your barrel just explodes and then it's over. So uh, <laughs> that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. But um, And then here are these crabs on a pirate ship are going to pop up and uh, start shooting cannonballs at us. Basically, just make sure you avoid where the explosion is. You know, it seems pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's, this one really isn't that bad, it's actually quite easy, but um, you just really have to get used to it. We should go in between those, that was kind of close actually. Then the uh, banana trail will start up again, we can follow it if we want. Um, I think, yeah, the inn is right here among them, so there we go. 
All right, now here they're going to start getting serious. They're going to fire a bunch of cannonballs at the top. Make sure you veer up right afterwards to get that puzzle piece, then veer down right afterwards to get that one. Those can be a little bit annoying to get, but uh, we got them, so that's good. Um, now here they're going to bring out the big guns, and they're actually going to fire their anchor at us, as you can probably see inside the cannon. What you want to do, or at least what I do, sit here and wait, then go up. And they don't even stand a chance, so uh, that's really not that hard. Then their whole ship goes down, so sweet. And there's the G, by the way, in case you forgot about those. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it, so that's pretty much the end of the level. But uh, before we finish, you may realize we've only gotten four of the puzzle pieces. The final one's down here. Pound on that to uh, get taken to a bonus game, and this is another one of the easy ones. So uh, this one should be pretty quick. Uh, so yeah, the level's pretty crazy, isn't it? Uh, it? It's a lot harder to control, actually, than you might think um, if you haven't actually played this before, because it seems like you uh, have so much momentum that's really hard to overcome. So Also, you can't really control your like forward or backward movement there, so um, did not mean to do that, but whatever. Um, all right, so let's see if we can get it this time. Oh, nope, got the coin. Well, that's fine. Man, I need to work on that. I'm not getting the right rewards here. So there we go, Kong letters, puzzle pieces, good deal. So, like I said, that was a pretty quick level, it goes by really fast, but um, it, I think that's really just there to sort of get you used to the mechanic, because there's going to be actually quite a few of those type of levels as we continue, so, um, and each time they're going to get a lot more annoying, but, well, there's not much I can do about that, so. So let's go down and take on 2-4 Cannon Cluster. Let's do it. Now, this one is um, a little bit harder, I think, than the uh, ones that we faced so far, so it's definitely pretty cool. Obviously, with the word cannon in it, we're going to be seeing a lot of those, so uh, keep that in mind as we continue on. So let's get going. All right, so uh, right off the bat here, we've got some pegs. Um, if we pound this one, it'll make one appear on the right. If we pound it again, it'll make one appear on the left with the puzzle piece on it, so that one's a little bit tricky, but uh, just make sure to keep that in mind. Now let's keep going, and here is where the cannons come in. They're going to be regularly firing cannonballs at us, so just make your way across. This first one's pretty easy. I mean, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Um, so it's good. Let's see what's in this chest. A coin. Sweet. Now the next puzzle piece is right here. We blow this little helicopter plant, and a puzzle piece will come out, so that's good. And there's the K. We need to do a roll jump to get it. That'll work. Whoa. <laughs> that was kind of close. I almost got hit by that guy. There's in here, and a banana coin up there, up to 86 now. Uh, we've already, we just spent 20, and we're already back up to 86, so go figure. Okay, we got more cannonballs here. Oh, it was kind of close. Banana coin. Oh, let's see, alright, so we, uh, if we pound this peg, it'll actually cause one to appear back up here. And then we can use it to jump up and get that puzzle piece you can see up there. There it is, awesome. All right, and then here we have a peg we can pound to make another one appear over there. Then once we get here, we need to blow on this windmill. Make sure to keep shaking the Wiimote so it goes all the way up. Then wait for it to come down a little bit, jump up, and enter a bonus game. Cool. Now, this one is the one with the two moving platforms that we have to get everything. So uh, we've seen pretty much every type of bonus game so far, but there are still a couple that we haven't. So uh, we'll be running across one of them shortly, actually. So let's just finish this one up. It's pretty easy. There we are with 14 seconds to spare. Not bad. Okay, yeah, we've already got four of our puzzle pieces, so that is definitely good. Um, yeah, here we've got a couple things. I believe uh, this crate right here we need to pound real quick to get a puzzle piece to quickly get under shelter there so you don't get hit. Uh, banana coin in there, and obviously the O is on top, so we're going to have to get that. There it is. Back underneath. And let's go. Puzzle piece right there, but we aren't able to get it because you can see there's a, a little bullseye thing there, so we're going to need to grab this barrel and take it back there for that. Boom. Awesome. And there's number six, so there's only one left. Oh, okay, that was kind of close. <laughs> yeah, those uh, those things are pretty easy to avoid. I was just kind of being a little uh, reckless there. You need to jump off this crate to get the end. Make sure that you don't destroy it before you do that. Okay, uh, keep on going here. I don't think there's anything in here, really. Oh, a heart. Yeah, thanks. All right, make our way through. The G is right here. we got to avoid the cannon fire. Uh, that one's not really too bad. Uh, 
Oh crap, I'm gonna get hit if I stand there. There's kind of a safe spot right here you can stand and not get hit, so that's always good. Now, let's wait for this to fall, then once it does, we need to quickly pound this and get a move on before we get hit. <laughs> it's kind of uh, nerve-wracking there, but... Alright, now this barrel we actually need to keep for quite a while. Your instinct may be to throw it to try to kill all these things in a row, but you actually want to hold on to this. And we have to make it all the way through this cannon fire while holding on to this barrel. So make sure not to get hit or you'll lose it. Okay, make our way through here. You just gotta be really careful, make sure there's not a cannonball about to fall down on you while you're standing there. There we are, it looks like we made it. And then we have to use the barrel to break this and get into a bonus game for our final puzzle piece. Now this one is actually a new type. As you can see, there's a bunch of different things kind of floating around, including these weird winged bananas. I don't know what's up with that, but, uh, well, <laughs> there we go. We finished it already, so that one's pretty easy as well. Um, just, you know, make sure to aim yourself towards the bananas. I mean, there's not really much to say about that. Uh, now we've gotten all the puzzle pieces, all the Kong letters, so let's finish off the stage. Ah, I got the coin again. I'm telling you, that's all, like, three times in a row now that I've missed that DK thing. Ah, well, whatever. Yep, so there they are. The Kong letters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven puzzle pieces. Awesome. So that one's pretty cool. Um, the, the cannonballs can be kind of hard to avoid there at the end, but um, you can it's actually, uh, you're a lot safer than you think. Uh, the range for hitting you isn't as big as it seems like it would be, so just uh, keep your cool there. You'll be fine, but we're going to move on to 2-5 Stormy Shore. Let's do it. This one's probably uh, one of my favorites in world number two. It's definitely pretty cool, so uh, definitely looking forward to this one. It's another one that has five puzzle pieces, I believe, so we're going to have to uh, work for them a little bit, but it should be all right. So let's get this thing started. Uh, peg here, I don't think there's anything really big here. Nope, nothing. So uh, let's move on. Treasure chest with some bananas, which is always good. Grab the barrel, kill the jellyfish. Awesome. And uh, you can see there's a climbable surface here. We're going to need to make our way up. The Kea is right across here. Pretty easy to get. I think you pretty much have to get it. It's kind of hard to miss. Uh, the puzzle piece is right up here if you want to keep climbing. And then if we keep going on down, there's three banana coins. So uh, if you want them, you can get them. I probably shouldn't have really wasted the time, but uh, just a few seconds. Who cares? Uh, so we got some things we can bounce on here, but don't let that distract you from this little area right here. We can pound on it and go into a bonus game underneath. And I don't think we've seen this one yet. Um, it's pretty much still the same concept. Grab everything before time runs out. It seems like that's really all we're doing here. Um, but this one is a little bit trickier with the platforming. So um, the key to this is still just like it has been with a lot of the other ones. Don't panic. Um, even though it feels like you're taking forever, you're not. So um, you'll definitely be fine if, as long as you just make sure to grab everything each time you jump. So there we are. Eight seconds to spare. So the checkpoint's going to spit us out right next to the, uh, or the checkpoint. The bonus game's going to spit us out next to the checkpoint. I already knew what I was going to say before I said it, but well, there you go. Um, and here we get to enter a new character, this giant octopus who's going to tear that ship apart, and it looks awesome. Then he's got his sights set on us, so he's going to be causing us a lot of troubles when we move on. Make sure not to forget the O. I know that octopus is distracting, but <laughs> just uh, make sure to go back and get him. Now we got a bunch of bobbing platforms here that are uh, very violently shifting up and down, so uh, make sure you're careful on your platforming here. If we bounce on these things, um, if I was quick enough, I could have grabbed that balloon, but um, I waited around too long, so oh well, it doesn't really matter. Um, here you want to wait till this thing is at its very top pointing up, and the octopus goes by in the background, which is very creepy, but uh, thankfully he didn't bother us there. Um, Alright, so let's grab this uh, barrel. Don't need to do anything with it. There's a puzzle piece here on that peg, so make sure to grab that. We're up to four now. Now we have even more bobbing platforms. There's one that's kind of a double-decker platform here. Also watch out because the uh, octopus will occasionally smash the platform that you're standing on. He won't smash this one though, so you've got plenty of time here. Um, but just make sure from here on out not to hesitate too long, or else you'll be uh, falling into the water and dying. Okay, just go. <laughs> Don't care about that coin. All right, next checkpoint. And here he's going to be popping up and bucking us with his tentacles along the way. Uh, make sure to take it a little bit slow as you're going up here, um, especially if you don't know when the tentacles are going to pop out, because you've, like, never done this before. But uh, there's a final puzzle piece there, so we're done with that. Let's just keep on going. Also, make sure you uh, take it slow when going down. It's very easy to want to just keep going and accidentally run into that. So um, here we're going to grab the barrel and uh, bounce off of these things. 
And if you hit the barrel, or the bag, if you hit the bag with the barrel, then it'll cause this chest to appear. We can open it for a bunch of prizes. Uh, nothing big here, but we're going to be seeing that actually quite a bit later on. Um, in later levels, there will be puzzle pieces hidden in there, so just keep that in mind. But for now, let's just keep on going, and make sure to avoid all the tentacles, which I did in there, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, and treasure chest here has got a coin in it, got a climbable surface that we need to make our way across. Everything is moving, so uh, it's very easy to uh, sort of get a little bit distracted by all the motion going on. Just make sure to, uh, you know, be really confident in your jumps. You'll be fine. Uh, here we got to bounce off these little squids to get the G. That one can be a little bit tough to get. I don't think you can get it just by jumping when it's at its um, the apex of its bobbing, so um, that, that one could be kind of easy to screw up. Once we get here, jump into the barrel, and as you can see, the octopus is going to come up, but he brings the uh, exit barrel with him. If you want to get the DK and shoot when it's on the uh, the uh, balloon, like it's just starting to get on, I kind of missed it again, but um, that's when you need to do it. Obviously, don't wait in that one barrel too long, though, because he does destroy it, so, <laughs> you know. If you're not worried about the prize, it's probably better to just go ahead and shoot on out. But anyway, that's going to do it. So, uh, we got 100% on that level as well. So that one's definitely pretty cool. I like the uh, fast-paced action at the end. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorites, but we're getting ready to take on World 2-6 Blowhole Bound. So let's do it. And of course, the title is once again hinting at the type of thing we're going to be seeing in this level. So uh, keep that in mind. And we're also going to get to hear a, a pretty neat music track as well, so uh, definitely look forward to this one. It's, it's definitely it's a pretty cool level. Um, it's a little bit more laid back in places than some of the things we've been seeing so far, but um, it's definitely not lacking in action. Uh, make sure to remember to get that K. It's pretty hard to miss, but uh, worth pointing out anyway, I suppose. And as we keep going to the right, there's a little thing here we can ground pound, go underneath to get to a blast barrel, and go into that room with the crab, which is neat. And uh, it's going to take us to a bonus stage. Now, I don't know if we've seen this exact variety before, but I think by this point it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I've said it so many times before, but this is the last time I'm going to say it. Grab all the things before time runs out. I'm not going to say it again. So, if you haven't gotten it by now, then I just don't know what to tell you. Alright, so we finish that up and head back on out. Now, oh man, I hate that thing. <laughs> that catches you by surprise so often, but oh well. Okay, so let's keep on going here, um, and here's where uh, the blowhole thing is going to come into play. As you can see, the whale from, I think it was the very first stage, is actually making his return here. Um, he's kind of stuck by this anchor and trying to get free, so I say we helped the big guy out. He gave us some bananas before, so... We free him, and then he's going to take us for a little ride. Awesome. And here's that music track I was talking about. This is actually a uh, sort of remixed version of the underwater theme. I don't remember what it was called uh, from the original Donkey Kong Country. Um, you saw, you heard it whenever you were doing like swimming levels, so um, it's definitely pretty cool. It's kind of hard to hear at first, but the theme does definitely come out later. Um, yeah, so that kind of brings me to another thing. Um, what's really a little bit disappointing to me is that there are no swimming levels in this game. Um, the original Donkey Kong Country, in my mind, was one of the first games to sort of do swimming levels well. Um, you know, it was actually, the controls were rather tight and you could really control what you were doing. Um, there were so many other games before it that did swimming levels that the controls were just so loose and you couldn't really get around, so it's kind of disappointing that it didn't really carry over into this, but um, that's no big deal, really. So we can uh, roll into these sort of duck pens here. I really don't know what to call them. Um, and you'll get a prize if you get all of them in one roll, so that's good. Uh, this one over here, well wait, actually, before we pass up the checkpoint, I almost forgot this myself, um, we want to pound this tree here and a puzzle piece will fall out of it. This one is actually really mean, if you ask me, because there's not really any indicator that it's in there. So um, I'm sure that'll probably help out a lot of people who missed that one on their uh, playthroughs. And here I think we need Diddy to get this because we got to roll a long way. And while you have him, you can roll continuously. And with Donkey, you can only roll for a little bit, so um, I'm pretty sure you need Diddy for that. Alright, so let's get going. The whale's gonna make his return here, and uh, we can jump over these. This one can be a little bit tricky, but you need to bounce off those to get that puzzle piece. Uh, that one can be kind of hard to get, so uh, make sure you're comfortable with jumping on enemies. Uh, then we can also go into these blast barrels, and now he's going to uh, start destroying the platforms. I'm sure the big guy doesn't mean any harm, you know, since we did free him earlier, but um, he's just causing us a little bit of trouble there. And then here we need to use the blowhole to get that in, 
or how oh, you can actually jump like that. That was that's kind of the hard way to do it. I really wanted to get it the easier way, but um, now after these blast barrels, the next puzzle piece is going to show up here. Um, they give you a little bit of extra time to get this one, so that's actually really nice. Um, I'm kind of surprised by that actually, but oh well, it's a good thing they did. And once we get here, they're going to see a bunch of items. Make sure to get that puzzle piece up there. That one can be really easy to miss because it comes on you really quickly. Um, you also need to make sure to get the N, or the G, we already got the N. And uh, there we go. So, oh man, that was a stupid hit. Also, make sure you do actually jump onto this platform. I want to make sure I got all the... Yeah, okay, that is five of five puzzle pieces. I didn't check when it happened, but... Alright, so let's see what we're going to get this time. Uh... Okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. I mean, you could probably hear me shaking the thing, but... Uh, oh well, whatever. <laughs> That's fine, I suppose. Alright, so there we go. It's 100% image gallery updated. And let's go back. Alright, so that's going to uh, sort of complete our square here. We can go all the way around now, which is awesome. Um, we're about done with World 2. We've just got the next regular world, the uh, boss, and then, of course, the K world, for getting all the Kong letters, which we have done on all these. So, that's good. We're going to move on to 2-7, Title Terror. And I don't know if I've given this title to any of the previous levels um, in this world so far, but I think Title Terror is probably my favorite in the world, so that's good. Uh, it's got a completely different atmosphere from what we faced so far. It's dark and stormy, and there's tidal waves coming, and there's a puzzle piece in the chest. Make sure to grab that. Uh, but you need to make sure you're hiding behind these uh, little pieces of rock um, in order to sort of cover yourself from it. If you're out in the middle whenever it uh, goes through, then you will automatically die and lose a life. So, well, obviously, die and lose a life. That's kind of given. But, um, yeah, the bananas and stuff will also wash away. So, uh, this K is kind of hard to get. You gotta make sure you get the high bounce off that guy. Um, if you don't, then the uh, crab that was just over on my left will respawn every time you walk up to it. So, um, you can get it if you miss it, but um, it's really probably best to just not miss it. I mean, because that one can be tough to get. And you only have a limited amount of time you can spend between pieces of rock, too. So, it makes things a little nerve-wracking. And if you want, you can press this button to use the rock as temporary cover there. It goes down pretty quickly, so make sure you time it well. But, um, it could be useful if there's not another piece of cover in sight. Uh, so we can grab the O there, and uh, let's go ahead and wait for this thing to uh, cycle on through again. Also, make sure the water is completely gone before you head out. Um, I've had it happen to me numerous times where you... Uh, can go out like right now you know it, it seems like it's gone but it's actually not and you still get hit by it so uh, just make sure it's completely gone there's a puzzle piece there on the peg and then you can also pound down to get into this bonus area which is another one of the uh, time the barrel shot types which I really don't like uh, I'd say this is um, probably my least favorite it's the easiest for me to fail uh, my second least favorite would be the one with the uh, barrel going in the middle that you have to avoid so all right, we just about got this. There we go. Uh, this one is just so easy for me because I don't like waiting around. I'm rather impatient at times. So, um, <laughs> you know, I like to try to do it as fast as possible, but then I end up uh, shooting off into the wrong direction and losing the game. So, All right, let's just wait for this to continue. You are safe from these wood things. I'm sure you figured that out. It seems like you might not be because they're uh, very flimsy, but you are, so that's good. And go. Checkpoint here, which is nice. Uh, if you want to hide under this low cover, you've got to duck uh, in order to do it, or else you'll get hit, so keep that in mind. Got another place we can crawl across here, or climb across, and uh, get the coin there. There's a chest on the next one, which we need to drop down to, because it has a puzzle piece in it. That's number four. Just wait for these sharks to do their thing. And move. The end is right here. You need to roll jump to get it. It's pretty easy to figure out. Right, so let's wait for this to go, and get a move on. Now this one here, you probably want to defeat this guy or else he'll cause you some trouble. Um, I like to do the ground pound method because it doesn't require you have a lot of room. Then you want to keep ground pounding in front of this thing, it'll explode and a puzzle piece will come out and that marks the fifth one. So now all that's left is to get the G. Alright, so let's uh, hide under this. Wow, I, I didn't know if I was close enough to the rock or not, I thought I was gone there. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, just make sure to play it safe. If you don't see any cover ahead of you and you're about to need to hide, then uh, go back to the nearest, safest one and don't try to rush things. 
Alright, there we go. So we're safe here for a little bit, but make sure to stay out of the windows whenever the uh, tide's about to come in, because um, it will still go through the windows and kill you, so keep that in mind. Alright, and then here, well, that didn't quite work out. You can hit the barrel to get that thing to uh, get some prizes, but... Ooh, that was actually kind of close. You really don't pay it that much attention to the windows. At least I don't. It's, you know, I just keep forgetting about it. But there we go. That's the final Kong letter. And inside of this big chest is the X barrel. Don't care what I get. So I'm, I'm not even going to bother trying for anything there anymore. And that's going to do it. So yeah, you can see that's definitely a much more intense atmosphere than the other levels have had. So uh, the music is really cool as well. I didn't make a comment on it, but uh, it fits rather nicely. So there we go. Four Kong letters, five puzzle pieces, and we're done. And that's going to do it for all of the normal levels in uh, World 2. Of course, now that we've beaten this one, we're going to open up the passage to the boss, as well as to the K level, which I'm sure everybody's looking forward to. I know I sure am. <sighs> right. We're going to take on the dreaded 2K Tumbling Temple. Yeah, this one, um, it can be pretty difficult. Um, the main thing about this is there are a lot of platforms that will crumble away once you step on them, so you got to be quick. Of course, grabbing puzzle pieces along the way makes it a lot more difficult as well, so you know, you're in for a treat here, I'm sure. All right, so let's get this thing going. Thankfully, this first platform doesn't fall, so you have a little bit of time to uh, sort of plan your attack, but everyone from here on out will, so let's get going. Alright, so just wait as long as you can to land on platforms here. You need to wait a little bit to get between those two bats. And if you can, you can uh, just jump on these things to keep this platform from sinking for a while, so that gives you a little extra time. Here you need to jump up quickly, quickly, and then jump at the top to get a puzzle piece. That's our first one. Then make your way over here. Watch out for the uh, bats, of course. Oh, okay, make your way over there. Thankfully, they give you Diddy for this, so it is a little bit easier than it would be otherwise. Um, here, I like to sort of try to land on that because this will sink, and there's a puzzle piece in here, um, and you want to give yourself as much time as possible to do that. Wait here, and uh, bounce off these guys, then onto this platform. Onto this one, bounce off of the bongo guy. Keep going here. Make sure you go a little bit quickly because you need to roll jump off that, bounce off that guy and get going. As you can see, the platforming here is a little bit tough. Then here you need to bounce and make your way up there. That was really close. I thought I was dead for sure. Um, and then quickly make your way over and onto that. Oh my gosh, I'm making these calls so close all the time. Now make sure to get this puzzle piece here. You can easily skip by this one if you're not ready for it. Bounce off that guy and climb. All right, that should, we should have all our puzzle pieces. I'm not going to bother checking. I'm just going to hope that I have them all. So, All right, so let's get going on up. Make sure to go quickly. And on top, and then once we reach this, that's the end. All right, did I get everything? Yes, five of five. All right, thank goodness. Phew. And that's going to do it for 2K. Quick level, but it's fast-paced as... Oh, get out, man. That, that's really, uh, really hard to do, so... I'm glad I managed to pull it out, and there we go. That marks our second K level with all five puzzle pieces in the process, so... There we go. Well, there were so many times. There were at least five or six separate times I thought I was dead for sure. Whew, man, that's probably the most exciting level we've done so far, huh? Alright, so, uh, yeah, now that we're done with that, next time we're going to take on the boss of World 2 and see what World Number 3 is, so... It's going to be some fun stuff. I don't know if it'll top that level. That's going to be hard to beat, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So we're going to finish up World 2 with Pinchin Pirates. Awesome. So yeah, obviously this is the boss of World 2, and uh, it's still pretty easy. It's actually probably easier than the first boss was, but um, I guess that's just kind of how these things go. It is, it is kind of an interesting concept, though, so um, it's not bad. I don't mind it. All right, so let's head to the right and see what we are up against. That's right, we're going to be fighting these three uh, crab pirates here. Uh, remember I said crabs are pretty much the main enemy of the world? Well, yep, they, here they are. So, um, obviously, uh, it's really not that bad when they come out one by one. Um, just jump on them, then ground pound to flip them over, jump on them again. Pretty simple strategy. Of course, we're going to have to do that with all three of them. 
Uh, just make sure not to try to jump on them again when they have their claws up, because you'll get hit. It seems pretty self-explanatory. And once you take out all three of them, they're going to come up on this little crab stack and uh, come at you. Basically, you want to wait till they raise their hands and roll at them, which I was a little... They kind of screwed me over there. I thought they were going to do it before, but that's fine. All right, then once you do that, roll into them, then uh, jump on each of them in turn. And that complete, completes the first phase. Now, pretty much, we just need to uh, repeat it again. Of course, if you let these guys go long enough, they will um, put their claws up in the air. Or maybe not this one, but uh, the other ones do, at least. I, I guess the first one doesn't, but um, I know the blue one and then the captain do, so. And then once we repeat this one more time, that's pretty much going to finish it off. So, <laughs> like I said, this is a pretty easy boss. I did get hit, of course, but that was just out of uh, pure carelessness, I suppose. Alright, so now they're all going to come up in a stack one more time, and we just got to repeat the same strategy. One, two, and three. And that's going to do it. I like that death animation, too, I gotta say. But then the little tiki things that were controlling him come out, and we can beat him up just like before. There we go. That one went considerably better than the first one, I think. So, <laughs> there we go. Let's see how many we got. Uh, 21. Hey, alright, good, awesome. So yeah, that one went pretty well. The music gallery is updated, diorama gallery is updated, and we are now finished with World 2, so that's pretty cool. And now we're going to get our little animation of, uh... Actually, I don't know what's going to happen. The ship's already broken apart. Oh, okay, well, that one falls off. Awesome. <laughs> so the flag comes up, we finish World 2, and the next world to take on is the Ruins. So that's what we're going to do next time. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.